In the last episode, civil war erupted in the Oda clan of Owari province, eventually being reunified by the daimyo Oda Nobunaga, who would soon find himself beset by enemies on all sides. However, while Owari was still deep within its conflict, tension would begin to boil over just to the east between the Takeda clan and Uesugi clan, leading to the battles of Kawa Nakajima. Throughout this series thus far, as we have made our way through the warring years of the Sengoku Jidai, we have witnessed many major battles occur in the East. Yet none so far have been so massive and legendary as the clash that would erupt between the armies of Takeda Shingen and Uesugi Kenshin upon the plain of Kawa Nakajima. However, to understand the origins of this great struggle, we must first examine Takeda Shingen's decade-long invasion of Shinano province, in which the Battle of Kawanakajima can be seen as a direct result. Therefore, this episode will not be so much about Uesugi Kenshin, but instead about Shingen's warpath that would eventually lead the two into conflict. Back in the 12th episode of this series, Upsets in the East, we saw how in the early 1540s, Takeda Shingen at that point, still known as Haranobu, overthrew his father Takeda Nobutora and seized control of the Takeda clan. As we remember, Nobutora had waged constant war against many clans in neighboring Shinano province, yet ultimately gaining little to no ground and causing his own province of Kai to suffer due to his military campaigns. When Haranobu took power, he too sought to invade Shinano, whose many lords were still hostile, even forming coalitions against the Takeda in years past. Yet, Haranobu would go about his invasion in a much more calculated manner than his father ever had. Haranobu's first goal was the invasion of the Sua Valley, lorded over by Sua Yorishige, who was actually Haranobu's brother-in-law. Beginning in 1542, Haranobu used a political conflict between two shrines in the valley as a reason to intervene. However, when his army came marching, the clans of Shinano quickly banded together once again to form an army in opposition of Haranobu's advance. These clans included the Suwa, Ogasawara, Murakami, and Kiso. Using his wit, Haranobu entrenched himself at a defensive position at Fuchu, in Kai province. He then ordered the widening of his moat and the raising of his walls all to strengthen his fortified position. Yet, he went so far as to make this fact public, so that when word of it reached the coalition lords, they immediately took it as cowardice and rushed headforth to crush Haranobu. This was exactly what Haranobu wanted, as on their way to battle, the coalition set up camp overnight at Sizawa allowing for Takeda forces to launch a successful unexpected night raid over the border which completely shattered the coalition army. This cleared the path for Haranobu to lay siege to his brother-in-law, Yorishige, and eventually seize his castle of Uehara. Yorishige would be captured and sent back to Kai, where he would later be ordered to commit seppuku. Haranobu would eventually end up taking Sua Yorishige's daughter, his own niece, as a mistress. Many scoffed at the idea, and said that it was a bad omen to do such things. However, Haranobu ignored them all. She would later give birth to the future lord of the Takeda clan, Katsuyori. The Takeda would then end up clashing with Takato Yoritsugu, another lord in the Suwa Valley, who had previously sided with the Takeda against the Suwa clan. Yet, Takeda forces led by Itagaki Nobukata and Komai Masatake would crush Yoritsugu and allow for the Takeda clan to establish full control over the Suwa Valley. Yoritsugu would unfortunately escape, although the Takeda clan had now gained a solid foothold in Shinano and a proper staging point for future invasions. One year later, in 1543, Oi Sadataka, 
a Takeda ally in Shinano, would desert Haranobu, giving him a reason to invade the Saku area, where he quickly defeated Sakataka and seized his castle of Nagakubo, which would allow for further expansion northward. Yet, new threats by Yoritsugu in the Ina Valley would put northward expansion on hold. For the next two years, Haranobu set about capturing the castles of the Ina Valley, and by 1545, he had secured the majority of the southern portion of Shinano. Another year later, in 1546, he would once again begin working northward, first capturing Uchiyama, then moving on to Shiga, which would prove a much tougher obstacle. Shiga was commanded by Kasahara Kiyoshige, who stubbornly refused to surrender, even after Haranobu had cut off his force's water supply. Kiyoshige remained optimistic that he would eventually receive reinforcements from the Uesugi clan, and his hopes were not misplaced, as eventually an Uesugi army around 3,000 strong marched out from Kozuki to aid him against the Takeda. Haranobu responded by sending Itagaki Nobukata at the head of an army to meet the Uesugi forces at the Battle of Odaihara, where the Uesugi army would be completely crushed. Haranobu then had many of the heads taken from the battle mounted atop spears to be displayed outside of Shiga as a sign that no more reinforcements would come to save Kiyoshige. Eventually in 1547, the castle would catch fire, prompting Takeda forces to storm it, leading to the death of Kiyoshige and 200 of his men. After the capture of Shiga, Takeda holdings were now in close proximity to that of the Murakami, under the leadership of Murakami Yoshikyo, who was considered the strongest daimyo in Shinano. Yoshikyo, knowing full well that he would be Haranobu's next target, set out to deal with the Takeda. Upon hearing of Yoshikyo's advance, Haranobu set out to meet him at the Battle of Uedahara. This would end up being the first military disaster for Haranobu. Yoshikyo had carefully laid out a plan to crush the Takeda, relying heavily on imported Chinese firearms to deal heavy damage to the Takeda charge. These Chinese firearms are not seen nearly as effective as the Tanagashima that were now making their way throughout Japan, yet they still proved valuable when used in mass, then discarded in exchange for a melee charge. As the vanguards met, Itagaki Nobukata would be slain in the fighting as the Murakami absorbed and surrounded the initial Takeda attack. They then moved to strike at the Takeda main body, which caused the death of two more top Takeda leaders. Haranobu himself would even be forced to engage in melee combat, taking a spear wound to his left arm. Eventually, the fighting devolved into a stalemate, and Takeda forces would be forced to withdraw. Seeing the Murakami victory at Uedahara prompted the Ogasawara clan, led by Ogasawara Nagatoki, to join the fight to push the Takeda out of Shinano as the Ogasawara began launching raids against Takeda outposts. Yet the Ogasawara would eventually be halted when Haranobu caught them off guard and dealt them a devastating blow at the Battle of Shiojiritoge. Two years later, in 1550, Haranobu would continue his advance into Shinano by first dealing with Ogasawara Nagatoki, whose castles all quickly fell to the Takeda. Nagatoki would then be forced to take refuge with Murakami Yoshikyo. Haranobu then moved to finally deal with the Murakami. He needed to take Toishi Castle before he could march on the Murakami main castle of Katsurao. Haranobu would in time lay siege to Toishi, and what followed was eight days of intense skirmishes, as Takeda forces continually assaulted the castle. Somehow, the Murakami forces were able to hold out and force Haranobu to abandon the siege. Yet, as Takeda forces began to pull out, the Murakami launched an aggressive counterattack upon the Takeda rear, causing the death of another top Takeda general. Luckily, the Takeda commander Yamamoto Kansuke was able to divert the attack and save the rest of the Takeda army. However, it still remains a fact that the Murakami had now beaten Haranobu twice. Although it would later be revealed that Haranobu had an ace up his sleeve, Sanada Yukitaka, a samurai from Shinano who had previously had his clan crushed by the Murakami and Suwa, had now returned 
to join the Takeda ranks and was quickly being noted as a skillful commander. Having good knowledge of the terrain surrounding Toishi, Yukitaka was able to stage a far more effective siege that would later lead to the castle's fall and the death of roughly 1,000 Murakami soldiers. Later, Yukitaka would be awarded the surrounding land by Haranobu. Haranobu now had the proper staging area he needed to launch his final assault against the Murakami at Katsurao. However, we can also notice that by 1551, Haranobu would take on the teachings of a monk and would formally change to the Buddhist name Shingen. For the next two years, Shingen launched attacks on Murakami holdings surrounding Katsurao until finally on May 21st of 1553, an army under the command of Shingen's son and brother would finally capture Katsurao and force Murakami Yoshikiyo to flee north into Echigo, which, as we remember from episode 12, was now under the rule of Uesugi Kenshin. Murakami Yoshikiyo immediately pleaded with Kenshin for aid, and with Takeda Holdings in Shinano now essentially bordering the Uesugi, it was only a matter of time before these two great clans came to blows. Within 12 days of the fall of Katsurao, Kenshin quickly responded by leading an army into Shinano and setting up defensive positions in the north. He had hoped to catch the Takeda army while they were pursuing routing Murakami forces, yet they would ultimately not meet with the Takeda until July 3rd, at a place just south of the plain known as Kawanakajima. This initial clash would be the first battle in an 11 year conflict between two daimyo that would in time become known as Feudal Japan's greatest rivals, Takeda Shingen, the Tiger of Kai, and Uesugi Kenshin, the Dragon of Echigo. So, what can we learn? The road to Kawanakajima was paved by Takeda Shingen, as his continued expansion into Shinano would see the fall of many minor clans throughout the province yet eventually his borders would end up arriving at that of Uesugi Kenshin, who would deploy his forces south, beginning an 11 year conflict between the two, which would forever be known as the Battles of Kawanakajima. In the next episode, the conflict begins as we witness Takeda Shingen and Uesugi Kenshin continuously battle for supremacy over the Kawanakajima plain. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell if you enjoyed this video and found it to be most informative.